All right, dudes. So we're gonna make some new Can Am doors. Why am I gonna make them? Because I'm fucking broke. <laughs> doors are gonna cost like six to six hundred bucks to two thousand, or honestly. So we're gonna run it through. I'd like to see what to do here and uh, see if you like it. Take the, to take the Can Am doors off. All you do is just grab them, pull them off. Always check your dogs. How you doing, Taco? All right, so we got that off. Actually, <clears throat> that's not how you take them off. But if you do want to know how to take them off, all you got to do here is take off this little star bolt, this guy, this guy, and then you got some rivets down here. I think it's just one on the driver's door and the two for the passenger front. And then the back's about the same way, but it has more rivets. Got a rivet there. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Bolt. Rivet, rivet. And then the one on the bottom. But, uh, pretty straightforward. So someone once told me if you believe hard enough, anything can happen. So here we go. We got to build a template for this door. And I think if I believe hard enough, it'll just appear. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, good. Good job. Whoa! How'd that template get there? Christina, we must have really believed, huh? New stock, who knows? So anyways, um, I didn't videotape the first part of doing this template. Uh, if you guys seen me do it, you might think I was a little special, but... <laughs> Fact is, is it worked, it's perfect, it's gonna turn out great. And uh, we will, in fact, do the rear door with the time lapse so you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's template time! So we're gonna start on the driver's side here. Go ahead and take off your plastics. You remember how, right? There we go. All right, so we got our aluminum. Uh, we're using 60 thousandths thick. Um, I don't know what gauge that is, but it's aluminum. It's uh, much thicker than most people use for doors, but they're pretty sturdy. And uh, you know, we could use all the help we can get here. So I'm gonna trace this out, and we're gonna cut it off. All right, we got a trace. Now we're going to uh, cut that shit out. Do not cut your fucking fingers off though, okay? You need all five for this job. So next step here is uh, I always like to do. Learn from my buddy across the way. Rivet that thing on. See where you like it. Rivet it in place. You could always trim after that. I'm going to have to do some trimming, obviously, right here. I'm going to have to do a little bit back here. A little bit down there. But, uh... You know, see where you're at, rivet it. Uh, another trick I learned from him, use aluminum rivets, because they drill out easily. Okay, so we got our first crease. I forgot to turn the video camera on. We're gonna come right in line with this bar from the bottom of it, straight across, I mark it. 
and then we go ahead and throw just a slight bend in it. So right here, we, I just measure a little bit past here, maybe an eighth of an inch. And then we're gonna measure an additional eighth of an inch for the bend. Up here, we're just gonna be trimming everything to fit up in here just a little bit. I'll show you on the other side real quick. This actually already has trim on it too, but just barely going in here. Come down here, it's gonna be sucked in after I get the frame on at the bottom. And this is how the back is gonna be. It's the slight edge just so we can give it a little bit of strength, give it a little bit of appeal. Okay, so we got it trimmed up pretty good here. We got the back ready to do a little bend on that line. Gotta transfer the line over. But it seems like right here, I'm gonna have to trim just a little bit more. And it doesn't look like I cut it straight off. <laughs> Mark that a little bit there. And I think that we can actually trim a little bit further down on this. So we're gonna mark that. Mark about there too. And by now you should know, I'm not a professional. <laughs> so videotaping and bending and working at the same time, not an easy task, newly discovered to me. However, I'm gonna go back and show you guys a few things. See what you like, see what you don't like. Um, so here we go. <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna put about a three quarter inch bend there, three quarter inch there, we're gonna Put in the brake, make it even. Bend her down to about 90 degrees. Trim everything up. When you make bends that are gonna go over bends, you gotta trim them because, so here's my bend right here. You can't bend over this crease right here. So, a quick little tip. I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse. See how I do it a little bit, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> So I don't know if you could tell or not in the time lapse. But this thing's kicking my ass. <laughs> I gotta start working out or something. My shit is weak. But, you know, it would be a lot easier with two people. I mean, it would make a night and day difference. Mike, my buddy Mike helped me on the other door. Easy peasy. This door, some work, no doubt. <laughs> 